Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again for my Shadow of Mordor game guide. And today's video is about what I call an easy money power start. All right, right at the beginning of the game. Okay, I'm assuming that you're right at the beginning of the game. You just finished the in-game tutorial where, um, you know, you learned how to counter, uh, you learned how to attack, and then you went and kissed your wife, and then you did that whole thing where um, you had to stealth your way out, and you saw your wife and your child get murdered. And then you got a little tutorial about uh, how to use the bow, and finally, um, you got your first two main story missions, the slaver and the spirit of mortar, and you got dropped off at the default forge tower right here, Udun Foothills, okay? That's where you are, and you've done nothing else in the game. That's what I'm assuming, okay? From this point, you can do what I call an easy money power start, and spend the next 30 minutes, that's all it takes, approximately 30 minutes, and in 30 minutes, you can unlock all the forge towers to make 1,000 Mirian, okay, Mirian is the game's money, okay, uh, you could complete the first four survival challenges, you could complete the first two hunting challenges, which I strongly recommend before you take on this mission here, and um, you could come away with an extra ability point, plus you could learn how to ride Karagors, okay, you're going to get this ability right here, ride Karagors, and after all is said and done, you're going to have an extra ability point on top of that, you could do all that within the first 30 minutes of the game and this is what I call an easy money power start and we're going to go on a wild wild Karagor ride all around the gamescape okay this is going to be wild all right let's get on your way we're going to do a power start um the quest that you were told to um highlight is to the north you want to go to the east you're looking for the crane there's a crane right there drop on down if you're not down there at the bottom already Hunker on down. You're looking for spiders now. Around the forge tower. There's a spider right there. Our first hunting challenge is to kill three spiders. You can see if they kill them with the bow. You got two right there. Strongly recommend that you just stick around the forge tower and you stick in stealth mode. If you can't find spiders, you can also just run over them, eh? Let's see if you can run over this one there, got it. Okay. If you can't find any spiders around the forge tower, go to your forge tower and press whatever button it is to advance time. And keep doing that until you get spiders at the forge tower. There's a 90% chance you're going to find spiders around this forge tower, okay? Occasionally there isn't, but most of the time there is. Let me just fix an option here that is um, screwed up. All right, first hunting challenge complete. Next, let's do a little stealthing. I just want to clear this area here. You over there? Yeah, you. Come on over. Get down. Now is our best chance. Okay, so we got some XP for freeing those slaves. There's an archer up here. If he's looking down, what you can do is use distract to distract him over there like that, and get him to go away. I'm gonna do an extra video on stealthing, how to stealth like a pro. Okay, so if you're not aware or you don't understand how to attract or distract, I'm gonna do a whole video on that. Okay, now we can do a stealth kill. This is just to clear this area. Okay, now this area is clear. Now let's look at the next survival challenge, or the first survival challenge. Survival challenges are all about collecting herbs. We have to collect two Nifridils. There's two Nifridils right here. There's one right there. These things only show up on the mini-map, okay? So you're looking for a white cross. Look on your mini-map and you see there's a white cross. We just back away here. I don't want to do too much explaining because I want to try to get this done in another 30 minutes. Okay, there's a white cross right at the center of the mini map. Okay, that's this thing right here. Never do. Pick that. 
And there's another Nifferdil over here. Right near the Forge Terror. That completes survival challenge number one. And for that we get 100 Mirian. Next survival challenge, collect three pipe wheat and one Lothrond. But first we're going to focus on the next hunting challenge, kill five flying creatures. Right here in this area here, there's a whole bunch of hellhawks. You can shoot them down. Got one. You're going to need focus to do this, okay? Yeah, I missed. I'm going to have to wait till my focus recharges. I'll just skip ahead. Okay, focus recharge. It takes about a minute or so. Oops, that guy's too uh, too far. Okay, let's go for this guy here. Two flying creatures. Focus recharged. There's another hellhawk over there. Three flying creatures. Ran out of Elshot. What we could do is just simply fast travel back to the force tower and recharge everything. Recharges our focus and recharges our elf shot. Okay, once again, the mission is to the north. We're going to the east. This is also resets everything in the area. So let's just get rid of these guys. You there. Want to fly air slack? Whoops, wait a minute. Let's try that again. Okay, here we go. And... Kill this guy again. Okay, let's finish off the hunting challenge. That's four Hellhawks. Five. There you go. That hunting uh, hunting challenge is complete. New challenge. Kill three Karagars. I strongly recommend that you complete at least the first two hunting challenges before you take on this mission here, the Slaver, okay? And I'll explain why later in another video. Definitely want to do that, so that your third hunting challenge is now up to back. Kill three Karagors. Alright, next survival challenge. Collect three Pipeweed and one Lothron. Pipeweed are the green crosses. There's one right here. There's another one. Right in front of the Forge Tower, just north of the Forge Tower, down in the canyon. Right there. Let's take a look around. No bad boys, jump on down. Now, what we could do is just, uh, to save time, let's just fast travel back to the Forge Tower. This will reset everything in the area. And go collect that same pipe weed again. I see that little rat. I'll trace it down myself. Which way do they go? Yeah, that's the way I want to go. Go to the north, jump on down here. Where was you There we go. Three pipe weed collected. Now I have to just get one of those yellow mushroom thingies. But for now. Go to your pause menu. By now you should have definitely gained an ability point. I strategically recommend that you spend it on ride categories, okay? And I'll explain all about abilities in another video, how to unlock all these abilities and which are the best ones to get. For now, these are all unlocked by default. You get this one for free. Get ride categories. Strongly recommend it, right? Right? Now, let's go to the west. Looking for that archway right there. Usually some bad boys down here. Let's just ignore them. Run right on by. Go through the archway. You're looking for that Karagor cage right up ahead. We can now ride these these bad boys, which has got to be the coolest thing in the game. Aside from riding Grogs. Okay, you got to be above them though, okay? The procedure is shoot the cage door. And press your grab button. If he runs out, here we go, we got him. 
And you have to go through this little quick time thing. There we go, it explains it there. Move the cursor inside the circle, just like a last chance thing. And press the right button. When you do so, you dominate that Karagor. And now, you can use the Karagor to ride around on. And it's a lot faster. This is what we're going to use to unlock all these Forged Towers, okay? First Forged Tower is right there. Now, we want to keep this guy alive, okay? So I'm going to show you an optimal route. Because Karagors, they tend to die very quickly. But you could do... you're, like, really powerful on top of a Karagor. Anytime you hit an Orc when you're on top of a Karagor, it's an instant knockdown. For example, hit, knockdown, hit, knockdown. Then you can press the aim button to have your Karagor feed on the guy for an instant kill. Knockdown, press the aim button, instant kill, and the Karagor actually gets a little bit of health. Now, this force tower is right here. We want to go in this little cave here. There is a Lothrond in that cave. Could be some uh, bad boys in here. Go in the cave, take the first left, right in here, and there's the Lothron. Take a look around to see if there's any bad boys, because you don't want your Karagor running off. He's like very skitterish. If he senses enemies around, he'll go running off and attack him right away. Okay, so we got ourselves a Lothron. It's pretty safe in here. Now, over here, if you go into Wraith World, you see that there's a highlighted wall there. Just shoot that with your bolt. And it's a breakable wall. Go up behind the breakable wall, go into Wraith World, and you see an artifact here you can collect for 50 Mirian Cha Chang. I'm gonna skip the lore, hope you don't mind. These oh, let's see. <laughs> no, they are this is what you don't want, because these, uh, these guys, they're not very good at staying alive on their own. So you gotta kinda like ride them. Make sure they do the right thing. There we go. I see some more bad boys coming in here. That guy has intel. I don't shouldn't really be doing this, but like I said, I'm trying to save time here. Haha. <laughs> Okay, the area looks pretty clear. Except for those guys out there. Let me see if I can leave my character right here. By the way, I forgot to dub him. Okay, and I'll dub the Meatball. <laughs> okay, Meatball. Uh, are you going to be calm? No, you're not. Okay, this is slowing us down here. Okay, we want to get on with, like, the Forge Towers. Are you going to be calm here? Calm? No, 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 no. Figures I'm recording, so I got the recording handicap. Oh, he's going to get in trouble. He's going to die all the death. Everybody die. It's lunch time. As much as I love doing that. Okay, now it's clear. This is what I usually do. I park him in the cave right beside that that Lothron. It's usually a pretty safe place. Out of the way. Right here. You stay there. Stay calm. Let's go hit up the Forge Tower. Because there's too much activity around here, especially that archer there. And Climbing Forge Towers. Look for the broken tower. As soon as you start climbing it, it lights up. Climb all the way to the top. Interact with it. He smacks the anvil, and you get this little tutorial here. 
as am I. You could pause the video and read that up if you still desire. Basically, it reveals all the section around the forest tower, okay? Uh, we want to reveal the entire map, and you'll see at the end of the video why this is so important. Okay, so. Oh, another thing I want to point out. See the little blue claw mark above the minimap? That in indicates that we have a Karagor um, dominated. If you see that disappear, you lost your Karagor. Two things will make him disappear. One, if you go too far away from him. And two, if you fast travel. Okay, so don't fast travel while you got a Karagor. Otherwise, you're going to lose him. Hey, Meeple. How you doing? Calm down. Everything's good. Daddy's back. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright. Love to stay in Wacky and have lunch, but... Uh, we's about business. Let's go for the next Forge Towers right there. This is a stronghold. You pretty much want to avoid that because they may sound the alarm and send a, like a battalion of orcs after you. So let's go down this canyon here instead. Jump down into the canyon. There you go. Pretty safe here. By the way, we now have a new survival challenge. Remontand and Aziradan. I'm going to show you where to get those. Okay, now this can be a little tricky. Let's just park them over here. Take a look around. Great, it looks clear. Stay there, Meatball. Don't go away. There you go. Climb it up. Climbing it up here, boss. Get to the top. Hit the anvil. And Shazam. Fast travel unlocked. There's like a bazillion intel around. There is. Oh my gosh. I've never seen this before. Like one, two, three, four, five. Never seen that many intel around in one in one like close area. Wow. That's like, you know. Okay, that's that. Next we're going after blue spikes and red spikes. That's what I call these uh these herbs instead of their names, which are like okay, so red spikes and blue spikes. Aziradan, that's pretty easy to pronounce. There's one right here. We're going for this forge tower right here. The safest way to get there is to go up this canyon here and then hang a left at the top, okay? And there's an Azuridan on the way. Let's go for it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to use the care guard to just go ape on all the orcs. But, um, yeah, we're about business. Okay, the Azuridan is just a little up ahead here. Lots of activity around here. Okay, I'm going to take a chance. Here's the Azuridan right there. Get that. Yum, yum. All right. One to the bridge and take a left. There's another Zeridan right here in this, right near this forge tower. There's also a couple of slavers. Whack the slaver, free the slaves, and we earn some XP. Here they are right there. <laughs> There's nothing better, eh? Yeah. You're getting tired of getting beaten up by orcs? Get yourself a Karagor and get some payback. Okay. Here's the Aziridan. Sometimes there's an archer over here. I'm gonna take a chance and grab this guy here. Okay, let's park. Meatball right in a secluded place right here. Stay calm. No, no, Meatball. Where are you going? What do you see? Where's the bad boy? Oh, he's right there. Sometimes if you point him at a wall. There we go. Because it's like, it's not only what 
what he can smell, which I'm only speculating, is what he can see. It's mostly what he can see. So if he sees a bad boy, there he goes. Let's find this. Very good. My ancestral doom, I must so now, away with light. we've revealed everything in this area. This is very important, this I filled in right here. This is a gimme. Let's go grab that. Here is the archery unit. Okay, they're on to us. Another thing you could do is just run into an orc and not, you'll knock him down. And you can just have a little munch and you're good. Okay, now, alright, Thilden is right there. Check around for bad boys. Looks pretty safe, jump off. Stay there, Meatball. Stay right there, don't go away. Jump up here, slide across. Go across here. Go across, Telly. Go across faster. Drop on down a bit. Oh, jeez. Too much. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mr. Pummel Fingers. Okay. Meatball's getting excited. These I filled in. Stomp. No, drop on down. Drop it down. All the way down. Good. Fear of Karagors. Run away. <laughs> we actually killed the captain. <laughs> Good boy. Good job, Meeple. Awesome. Okay, that's it. That's enough. That's enough. Let's have the, uh, the rune. <laughs> Good job. Good boy, Meeple. Get your casing beer for that one. Outstanding. Okay, next. This forge tower is over here. Safest route to take is we'll just go to this point here and then we'll swing it on around, put a new waypoint on the forge tower and go straight for it. Now this area is heavily populated. This gets kind of tricky. Yeah, okay, I'll show you what to do when we get there. There are also some red spikes there, some remitons that we can collect in that area. I'll show you how to get that. First of all, let's go up here. Swing it on around. Keep a low profile. He's on a beast! Get him! It's a Caligar! Okay, around the corner. Let's put a waypoint on the forest tower and jam on over there. Just passing through. As you can see, you could do this a lot faster on the Caligar than you can on foot. That's the whole point of doing this. Okay, there's a forest tower, but like I said, it's heavily populated around here. Let's go up into this little mountain pass right here where the Remitond is. And there's also a couple of slavers there. You there. Get some. <laughs> I love that. Okay, there's our Remitond. Let's take a look around, make sure there's no bad boys. There's usually patrols here often, so be quick, okay? Grab your Remen Hunt. There we go, and we got another ability. Because once again, you get XP. Okay, let's leave those guys alone. Beast we should take care of. Get the guy who throws axes first, because he's the most dangerous to meatball. Okay. Now, quickly now, because there's lots of patrols in this area. There's an archer up top here, see? There's tons of, yeah, this is... Yeah, it gets really complicated here. Okay, let's try to draw them off. This is the most I've ever seen here. Okay, we're going to have to plow into them with the bow, thin their numbers a bit. Let's 
see if you can knock him over. I've never seen this many before. This is insane. Gotta watch Meatball's health. Okay, got them all. Meatball took a hit, but that's okay. There's also an archer up here, and I'm on a bell shot. It's right there. Um... Okay, Meatball. Try to stay calm. <laughs> so much for staying calm. <laughs> okay, where are you? He's still alive? This is nuts. I've never seen this before. Yeah. Okay, meatball just took it. That's it. Okay. On with the mission. I'll tell you what to do if this happens. We only have one force tower to go, anyways. Whack it. There was another Remiton there. And we have now revealed this area. Alright, let's go back to the original Forge Tower, which is at Udun Foothills, okay? And get ourselves another character. Yeah! <laughs> okay, the mission is to the north, so let's go to the west, look for the archway, dive on down. Up we go. Uh oh. Okay, this went horribly wrong. <laughs> okay, here, Meatball. Over here. Over here. Atta boy. Get the quick time event inside, press the right button, and I now dub the meatball too. Alright, so going for the last forge tower. <laughs> that's down there. So that's what you do if you lose your, your caragor. We are here. I'd say let's get down in this canyon. Yeah, I want to get right about here. And then we're gonna cut across there. That's the safest way to get to that point. Okay. Swing it on around. And Karagors can climb easily, by the way, so that's not an obstacle. And if you run them through fire, they get a little extra burst of speed, eh? <laughs> and it looks really, really freaking cool. Okay, let's put a, a waypoint on the Forge Tower. And this is the last Forge Tower. When you get to the last Forge Tower, you're going to kill Meatball. Kill Meatball? Why? Because um, that's part of our our third hunting challenge. Hunting challenge, kill three Karagors. Okay, so kill Meatball. Then after you do this story mission, you get another story mission after that where you have to kill two more Karagors. Ah, I see, said the blind man. Yeah, you know, automatically complete that hunting challenge. All right.
So here we are at the Forest Tower. Sorry, Meatball 2, um, you have been honorably discharged. The easiest way to kill him is just drain him. Just keep draining him and he's gonna drop over dead. One more. Sorry, Meatball. We'll notify your next of kin. He flops over and you get credit for killing a Karagor. Alright, up we go. Alright, now we have unlocked all the forged towers. And look at this. Look at this. Yeah, I'll show you afterwards when we get the normal map. Look at all the stuff you can now do. Alright, all the artifacts are revealed, all the I filled in are revealed. You got a ton of new missions to do. You are in, you're a kid in a candy store now. Alright, you can fast travel to any forged tower to easily get around. Okay, this is the advantage of unlocking all the forged towers right away. Um, let's finish off. Um, I already did that. Okay, so let's work on the four survival challenge. We have to get one Azuridan, two Lothron, and two Nifredil. We already know where all those are. There's one Azuridan right here. Let's just fast travel there. See how easy this is now? Huh? Spin on around, jump on down here. We picked this up earlier. Grab yourself into Zerodon. Next, Lothron, if we recall correctly, is in this cave right here. So we just fast travel to this. Oh, must be some enemies around. There are. Okay, let's just get stealthified. Run away. There we go. And fast travel on down here. Put a waypoint there so we can easily find it. Swing it on around. Dive on down there. Let's just ignore the bad boys. We're all, we're all about the herb. <laughs> Don't read too much scenes with that. Swing it on around here. Grab yourself some yellow mushrooms there. Get stealthified. Hunker down. Okay, we're good. Fast travel back. This will reset this area and we can come back and grab the same mushroom again. Because we need two of those. Hi. <laughs> They're like, you. Again? <laughs> okay. Now, once again, let's get stealth so we can get fast travel. Very good. Now, all we need is one, two Nifferdil, and those are back at the default Forge Tower right there. Two Nifferdil right there. That's the north. Let's drop on down here. One Nifferdale right here. Let's just kill this guy. And one Nifferdale over here. There we go. Survival challenge four completed. Hunting challenge to completed. Um, now, let's just pick up a couple of easy, I think we only need one. Let's take a, a look at our cash flow. Upgrades, abilities, swing on over here. 905, yeah. A couple of pickups I forgot. Oh, I know which one I forgot. The one right here underneath the bridge at the default forest tower. Where am I? That's why I'm sure. Okay. Drop on down here. Go here, underneath the bridge. No, we got that.
It says it's right there. Here. Here we go. It's looking the wrong way. Okay, that's one. And the last one. It's right near that forest tower there. This is a gimme too. Go around here. You can see it's right up there. Climb up. Put on Wraith Rule. Pick it up. Mission accomplished. Here we go. Check it out. Upgrades. Swing it on over to attributes. 1,000. Mirian. Plus. We got the entire map revealed. Plus. Got ourselves an extra ability point. Plus, you got the Ride Caragor's ability. There you go. There is your Shadow of Mordor power start. Major Slack. Major Slackified power start. What should I do now, Slack? I strongly recommend that you get the Execution ability. Okay? That's what you should spend your ability point on. Okay, so let's get that. And what should you spend your money on? It really depends on your playstyle. If you're going to go all melee, if you really like melee combat, pile it all into health. Um, but I think that the best thing for all builds is to get as much elf shot as possible. So I would strongly recommend that you get the first two elf shot, which will double your elf shot. All right. So now you have eight elf shot instead of four. And invest in focus so you have a lot more slow mo time. That's the best thing you can get in resources right now at the beginning of the game. So now you can really kick butt as you're out there in the wastelands of Mordor. Took a little longer than 30 minutes because we got hung up on uh, that forge tower with that mob of orcs there. That was very unusual. But it should take you approximately 30 minutes. All right. So yeah, there you go. Shadow of Mordor, power start. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.